Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and I literally just rolled out of bed, so pardon my hair. It actually just seems to like, as it gets grayer, it gets stiffer, and just kind of does its own thing when I wake up now. It's actually kind of convenient. Yay for gray. So today I want to do something that's beyond easy, has minimal ingredients, literally takes no time at all. Like, it's like one minute of pressure cook time, and it's a dump and go recipe on top of it. But yeah, the most amazing thing about this is the end result is so insanely full of flavor, so vivid and vibrant, and so hearty that you're not gonna believe all you do is just dump some things into a pot, hit a button, walk away, and just add a few stirs at the end. Guys, we're making what I think is one of the most spectacular, creamy tomato tortellini soups you'll ever know. It's cheesy, it's creamy, it's dreamy, it's tortellini-y. Let's just do it. It's so easy, it could be done quicker than I'm doing this intro. To the Instant Pot, creamy tortellini tomato soup. Creamy to tomato tortellinis. Creamy tortellini tomato soup. So all I want to do is I want to add in four cups of a broth of your choice. You can use chicken or vegetable or garlic or onion, whatever you want. This is a tomato type of a soup after all. Two eight ounce or one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Now this is not the same stuff that's pasta sauce. This is the stuff that comes in a can and it's by like the crushed tomatoes, the pasta section of your market. So two eight ounce cans or one 15 ounce can will do. I say 15 ounce can because Costco sells them in 15 ounce cans. Normally you see them as eight ounce cans though and two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. And we're gonna stir that up in the pot, make sure that the tomato sauce is mixed in with the broth and that the seasonings gets nice and dispersed. Now it's time to add in our pasta. I'm going to add in a 20 ounce bag of a tortellini of your choice. This is like a tri-color five cheese, which I think will be nice. It'll add nice color, but you could do any kind. You can have it filled with prosciutto or shrimp or a lot, whatever you find your tortellini with that you like. Pumpkin, who cares? Just be mindful, if you're serving this to vegetarians, they'll be expecting probably just some cheese in there. I'm going to smooth that out so it's like this. And now I'm going to top it off with about a bunch of fresh basil leaves that I just ripped off. And 10 ounces of cherry or grape tomatoes that I'm just going to also lay on top. And that's literally all I have to do before I pressure cook. Talk about a dump and go. I'm going to secure my lid. Make sure the valve's in the ceiling position if it doesn't do that automatically for you. I'm gonna come down to my control panel, hit the pressure cook button, and I wanna pressure cook for just one minute, guys. That's it, we have tortellini in there that's already just like fresh, so it's gonna cook very quickly at high pressure. Now hit that start button if your pot has one to get going, and if it doesn't, after a few moments of setting the time, it'll go on its own. And now that we're done pressure cooking, we'll perform a quick release. And the pin just dropped, so we're gonna take the lid off the pot. And there's our soup, looking wonderful. Now we have a few finishing touches. Just give everything a good stir in there. You see the tomatoes will have very nicely burst. Okay, now it's time to creamify this soup up. I wanna add in one and a half cups of heavy cream or half and half. Two cups of a shredded cheese of your choice. I'm using a cheddar blend here. I'm gonna stir until the cheese becomes nice and melded into the soup. That should happen relatively fast. Doesn't that look gorgeous? And now for a final touch, we can add a package of borsin or aloet or any type of spreadable herb cheese. You can make your own. I have the recipe and I'll link that. And stir that in. You don't have to add that. It just adds even a richer flavor to the soup. Just keep stirring it until the herb cheese is melded into that soup. Now we're just going to grab a ladle and ladle some of this delicious creamy tortellini tomato soup into some bowls and serve it up. All right, and there we are, getting all sloppy already. <laughs> mm, it just really plates itself, the soup. And I like using a shallow bowl for it. it. Really highlights the tortellini that way. But you can use any kind of bowl you wish. Wonderful. I'm just gonna clean up these sides here. Usually you can just use a paper towel, that's all you have to do, but this is for me, so I'm just using my finger, whatever. Grab a spoon, and let's try it out. And all right, my friends, creamy, Tomato tortellini soup. Look at this, all this amazingness. Look at that. Basil. Oh my. Oh wow. Hmm. Okay. I confess, it's nine o'clock in the morning right now when I'm making this, and I eat this for breakfast. That's how amazing this soup is. It is comforting. Speaking of which, if you want to zhuzh this soup up even more at the very end, Add in like up to a quarter of a cup of a hot sauce, but instead of the tomato sauce that we use, feel free to add in some Bloody Mary mix. Mm, about two cups of Bloody Mary mix. That's if you want it spicy. 
Mmm. All the flavors in this soup. Mm. A tortellini melts in your mouth. It's cooked to perfection. It's just how you want a tortellini to be. And that creamy tomato smooth soup itself. This is a home run. I, I, I mean, I've seen variations of this soup posted many times, but uh, this is the ultimate in creamy and tomato-ness. And again, under 10 ingredients. Under 10! You don't even have to add in the borson if you don't want it to. Like, I, you, it's optional. It's gonna blow your mind. This is how good this soup is. Magnifico. Chef's kiss. Guys, if you enjoy these recipes, check out PressureLuckCooking.com because all my recipes are on that website that I release here. Check out my best-selling cookbooks, the orange one and the blue one. The orange, the, ooh, what is that? Oh, oh my gosh. I thought that was like a bug on my thing, but it was just like a piece of dust. Woo! Let's try that again, shall we? Check out my cookbooks, they're both bestsellers. The orange one, which is the original, and the blue one, which is the lighter, and the yellow one, which is the comfort food book. All simply done. The uh, yellow one comes out in April of this year, you don't want to miss that one. And um, check me out at facebook.com slash pressurelockcooking. Give the page a like, of course, because anytime I, I'm old school, I still do the Facebook. Um, and also at Pressure Lock Cooking and all the other social channels to see me on YouTube and all that stuff. Thanks again, guys. And I promise, once you make this soup in a pot and you grab a spoon, well, all I can tell you is prepare to swoon. Mm. It's amazing. Enjoy.